a copycat recipe that I know you're gonna love. Stay tuned. Okay, so we're gonna try to make the Chick-fil-A copycat chicken nuggets. But first, all we have to do is marinate the chicken and it's gonna be overnight, so we're actually gonna make them tomorrow. What you'll need is some boneless, skinless chicken breasts, and I've just cut them into about half an inch to an inch cube, and then one half cup of milk and one whole cup of dill pickle juice. Apparently, that's like the secret to the flavor of the chicken nuggets. Do you think it'll be good? I guess we'll see. Okay, so we're gonna put the chicken into a Ziploc bag and then we're gonna pour the ingredients over it and then we'll just stick it in the fridge overnight. You're gonna hold the bag open. Okay. You hold, I'll pour. <laughs> okay, half a cup of milk. Smell it. Mmm, Yeah, I actually love pickle juice. Okay, a whole cup of pickle juice. Ooh. A whole cup, it does it's not look milk. good. <laughs> okay, zip it. It said just rub it in. It's yellow. Yeah, looks pretty, looks pretty gross. <laughs> okay, and you just let that sit overnight. It said at least four hours, but we're gonna do overnight. The next day. Okay, we're back and our chicken is marinated. So what we're gonna do is get ready for the flour mixture. We're gonna mix one egg and one cup of milk in the small bowl, and then we'll go over the ingredients for the big bowl when we get ready. Now for the dry ingredients. One and a half cups of flour. One and a half cups of plain bread crumbs. One tablespoon of garlic powder. One tablespoon of salt. Two teaspoons of paprika. One teaspoon of powdered sugar. And two teaspoons of black pepper. And while you're mixing your ingredients, you wanna go ahead and heat up a quart of oil on your stove. Now we're gonna stir it up. Now we're gonna dip and dredge. Okay, after you've coated them once, we're gonna just go back and do the exact same thing for a second time. Okay, so now I'm gonna fry them in batches for two to five minutes per batch. Okay, so here is the finished product with some Chick-fil-A sauce. You can now get it at Walmart. Now time to taste. For you? I love Chick-fil-A sauce. It's so good. So good. That's good. Yeah, it's really good. I would definitely recommend. It's not as hard as you might think. You probably already have the ingredients that you need in your house, unless you don't like pickles, but I love pickles, so I already had the pickle juice. Definitely 10 out of 10. Yeah, 10 out of 10. Thanks for watching our copycat Chick-fil-A recipe. If there's another copycat recipe you'd like us to try, comment down below, let us know. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you next time, bye.